G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, you would have seen in my previous videos this super duper little steam engine that uh, I built out from a kit. And I did a few mods to it. I made up that poly, put that on there. I made up that water trap and steam chimney, put that on there. It looks great. Works well. Terrific. And then I had a number of viewers say to me, you know, they were thinking about buying this particular little model engine and they asked me, can you fit a steam whistle to it? And I thought, hmm, steam whistle. Yeah, you can. And that would finish it off quite nicely. And if you look closely, there's a steam whistle. I've added a steam whistle. I'll come in close and show you how I did it. So basically on the end of the boiler here, there's two ports, there's one there and one there. They have these little hexy plugs. This one goes into a banjo fitting and that feeds uh, steam pressure into the pressure gauge. And this one over here is just a little plugged off outlet and it's not used. And I thought, well, you know, great, you know, good, good having a spare outlet. And I originally thought about putting a tap on there and having an outlet for steam so I could use the boiler to power up the stuff. And then I, I was thinking about it, oh, it's a bit of a bugbear because then you've got to try and run, run you know, steam-proof steam lines around the place. So I gave that idea away. And when people said about adding a whistle, I thought, yeah, that'd be nice. I could you put a whistle there, but of course you want one in scale. You don't want too big. And I had a look around and most of the whistles that you can buy are quite a bit bigger than this one. This was the smallest one I could get. Got it from Engine DIY. It was only about, I don't know, $30 Australian delivered, I think it was. It wasn't a lot. And uh, you got the whistle bit, this bit here. All I had to do was make up a union. And that's quite easily done. So I'll show you what that's like or coming close from this angle. So the union is basically a bit of square or rectangular brass. I machine one end of it into a five mil um, end because that's basically a five mil, 0.5 mil um, thread, very fine thread. It's about 40, about 40 TPI in the old imperial terms, but it is metric. So yeah, you want five mil diameter with 0.5 pitch. And then it's a matter of drilling the tap down vertically for the whistle, and that is uh, 3 8 uh, SAE. So, I mean, I've got plenty of 3 8 gear, plenty of SAE taps and dies, so that was easily done. But I didn't have the um, 5 mil uh, metric tap in point 0.5. I've got them in, in just normal and fine pitch metric, but uh, not this. So I had to buy, well, I bought one. I got it off of AliExpress. It was so cheap. It was amazing. I mean, how they can make them and deliver them for that price. It was $3.65 delivered. You know, like how could you go wrong? So I'll show you that. So here it is, that's the little die. I only got a die, I didn't get a tap because I only wanted to do a, a, um, a male thread. And I had this little die holder for years and years and years. I picked it up from somewhere, never used it because I never had any dies that size. I had button dies, but they were next size up, the more common ones. And anyway, this came from China and I saw the size of it and I thought, oh, great. So I got out this. Well, I buffed the rust off of it and used it. Perfect. It's actually a good little unit. It's made in America and uh, so it's good quality. So I use that to, to tap the thread. So now it's a matter of steam her up and see if she works. The hole going into the boiler, as it's a 5 mil thread, the largest size I could go was safely was 3 mil. So that should be enough you know, to get the steam through and uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Looks good, really finishes it off.
Okay, let's light her up. It's certainly a great little engine, this. It's got lots of power and uh, drives everything I've got that I want to drive with it, generators and stuff. And it doesn't make a lot of mess because the boiler's contained and any soot is captured by this heat box. And of course the heat comes up the chimney and then the water trap works great as well. So yeah, give it some time to get up some pressure and we'll get it going. When I screwed it all together, I used stag jointing paste just to make sure it seals properly and um, yeah that should do the job that's pretty good stuff this is such a marvelously made little engine it's just beautifully done and all the brass the castings are just superb with the copper pipe and everything I mean you couldn't ask for more it's easily the best I've got so far and they just keep getting better and better, these uh, little engines. They just are incredible, really. Right, well, it's getting up to pressure, so it should go. A bit hot. Beautiful, just beautiful. The beauty of this engine too is that it runs for a very, very long time. And uh, yeah, it's got a decent run time. All right, we'll try the whistle. I'll put some gloves on, this could be a bit hot. Certainly works all right, doesn't it? Great, and it's not blowing the steam at the um, pressure gauge either. So there you go. That's how you do it. I think it's the perfect size. That really worked out well. Uh, engine DIY I had some other ones but they were a bit bigger they might have been all right they're more expensive too so this was as I said quite cheap and engine DIY was the only store that had a decent range of whistles and accessories um, I looked everywhere and really there wasn't a lot around so that's the same whistle as I've got in one of my other um, engine steam engine kits the one with the uh, rocking beam I think had that on there and uh, yeah beautifully made and seems pretty steam tight it's not leaking dramatically so yeah great Alright, well there's three great mods you can do to this little engine. The drive pulley, the water trap and steam chimney, and the whistle. I really can't see anything else to do. So, I'm quite happy with that. Anyway, I hope it made uh, life interesting for people who are looking at adding a whistle to a, to a, uh, a boiler or a steam engine. It's really quite simple, you know. But you have to turn up the fitting almost certainly because 
I couldn't see much in the way, I couldn't see anything in the way of fittings to make it happen. So you, you'll need a little lathe to do it and then you can uh, get into it. One final tweak before I go. Okay, <laughs> that's it for me. I'll see you next time. Cheers.